This is my gotcha farm. And while it is very functional and it makes me a lot of resources all the time, it looks like absolute dog crap and we need to make something better. So I'm gonna dismantle all of this and make something a lot prettier. So that took a long ass time, but it is all gone and it's all inside of the replicator and we're gonna build something brand new and amazing in its place. So I'm really excited for this. It's gonna be essentially just a gotcha tower and the middle part is going to be kind of like the workshop and then the side bits we're going to have the gotchas and we got a rainbow in the back right there so you guys will see it's going to be really cool i have some great ideas for it so let's get going but not before you guys hit the like button go ahead and do it it takes one second so here is the start of the building and i know it's not a whole lot to look at but i wanted to at least show this part off just to kind of give you an idea of what we're doing here so we're gonna be building up we're gonna be building up pretty high because i have a 20 well there's 23 different gotcha resources but i'm probably gonna have 24 gotchas in total so we're gonna have to have a lot of space for them and they're essentially gonna be on little like pods on the outside of the building and the inner part of the building is kind of gonna be like the workshop area so yeah we gotta build this up pretty high and uh i gotta figure out how to make this pod situation happen i'll probably add some more detail down here at some point as well by the way don't worry so it's a long while later and i'm still working on this but you can kind of see what i'm looking at doing here uh, let me do a little bit of flying because it looks a little bit cooler from up here. So, of course, we're using the gotcha gavagers, which are a really cool thing from S+. Plus. They basically allow the gotchas to be near each other um, and not become sad. If you guys want to know all about how gotchas work, by the way, I got a pretty good guide, I would say, on gotchas. And uh, that will be up at the top right-hand corner right now. But anyway, yeah. So, um... With the Gavagers, we can kind of just have them right beside each other. So this is kind of the layout of everything. We have six of them down on this layer, and then we'll have six of them on the same layer as this one here. Six there, and then six there, totaling up to 24. And like I said before, there's 23 different resources. We'll probably have two element dust ones running, just like we did with the original farm that I had. But uh, yeah, just in general, what do you guys think about this? I, I think it looks pretty cool. So down the bottom here, we uh, we have some turrets. They're kind of just sitting up on top of these like little triangle ceilings with the roofs kind of pointing down like that. Um, that's pretty much to just stop anything from really coming near my stuff. I always like to put turrets around my things just to, you know, I, I never have to deal with creatures coming over and robbing me or attacking me or whatever. So yeah, uh, and then not a whole lot has really changed down here. I did a little bit more um, design like around here, just adding a little bit more detail and everything. Uh, we got the shadow main in the floor now for some reason. Uh, the roof looks like crap. I'm going to try and make that look better by adding in like a false roof or something. Uh, let's go up to the first layer here. So currently I just have all the dedicated storage in here. I'll probably move all of this to like the top layer i would say because there's not really like a whole lot of space down here with the way that i did things i mean i could squeeze things in but it would just look terrible so we'll probably just make like a dedicated top layer for everything but um yeah you can just kind of see <laughs> we just got the gotchas you can just like look in any direction and there's gonna be a gotcha facing you which is pretty awesome uh let's go by another layer so then of course this is you know the layer that i still have to do um and then looking below the gotcha platforms they're sitting on top of uh, a small circle made out of, you know, triangles and squares. And then I went ahead and just added some roofs there. And then I added some triangle roofs there. So it kind of makes this really crazy looking pattern and shape and everything. And I really like that, actually. It looks awesome. But um, yeah, obviously, these gotcha gavagers are massive. They're really big. And, and it's kind of annoying how big they actually are. But I guess the gotcha is pretty big anyway. But um, I don't know. I think I found like a good compromise for still keeping them, you know, there, but also not making it gigantic so yeah we we basically have a smaller circle than the actual platform but it still works like obviously you can sit on top of that uh so yeah this is kind of what we got going on so far um there's really not a whole lot else i have to show and i'll probably continue to work on this and we'll finish this off but oh my god is it tedious to place all these things i am not excited to do another what would it be 17 of those yeah uh not excited to do that at all all right well there we go it's uh it's all done oh man this was a very tedious project to do like like i said in the last clip these little platforms are really annoying <laughs> but i got it all done i made it all pretty let me show you the inside uh i think it's looking pretty amazing uh let's just hop in here real quick so i don't think i mentioned it before but these are the s plus tech elevators they're essentially just a ceiling you press space to go up when it works there we go you press c to go down so let's just go to the top layer because all these layers look the exact same 
and here's the top layer where we have our little workshop now i built all of this i even laid out the workshop and everything i did all of this and there was one thing oh you know what here's the ceiling what do you guys think about that <laughs> it looks like a freaking snowflake i love it i really do uh let me show you the outside of that real quick and then i'll get to what i forgot to do uh because it's pretty embarrassing so yeah uh there's there's the top of the building i don't know i really like this kind of weird looking ceiling design instead of like just sloping up or something um doing something a little bit different is kind of nice so anyway i did all of this and then i i looked in a storage box that i had and there was something in there and can you guess what that was can you actually guess what that was snow owls yeah i i, I did all this i even capped it off and i was like yeah we're, we're done no no we are not done i need snow owls in here i'm such a i'm such an idiot <laughs> i just completely forgot so we're gonna build these even this even higher i'm gonna keep the workshop where it is because like realistically there's probably no point of like making that even higher up or anything like that it's kind of okay where it is and plus it's all laid out and everything so uh these are all the resources that were inside of these the dedicated storage from before by the way so uh yeah I, I gotta i gotta remove all the ceiling remove some of the detail here and just continue to build up and uh, add in a crap ton of snow owls let me show you i have so many of them and they've actually been inside of their little uh soul balls for such a long time that it's even the old layout of this of the soul balls like they they, they don't look like that anymore <laughs> so yeah um they've been in there for a long long time and uh we're gonna have to build even higher and and figure out some way of having them up there uh also getting out of the top of this building is not the most fun as well i love this this little pattern though like when you kind of get like right around here that looks awesome anyway uh yeah so we're not done we gotta keep building which is good because i do still have a lot of tech left but yeah <laughs> god damn it okay so we have the snow owls now and we've got a lot of them in here by the way i made some little changes up there i'll show you in just a second but uh on this layer we have i think it's what is it 36 i think this is the male layer i, I don't even know why i did it like a male layer and then a female layer but here's the female layer and we've also got a crap ton of feet up there uh why is that happened well because it turns out that all those snow owls and i didn't even know this to be honest all of them were babies which means that you know i chucked them all out onto the ground and they just kind of grew up in their spot issue is is that when they do that they they will stick through structures and stuff and um yeah they they did that now i could fix that by moving them all one tiniest bit forward am i going to do that absolutely not this is hilarious looking like i'm not even i'm not even into feet but i kind of like this like this is it, it looks like a nice pattern that's all i gotta say it's uh, it's all the lights from their feet and everything and this layer is the exact same as well <laughs> honestly i thought restarting the server would actually fix that but um no no it did not uh that's okay though so what have i done in here uh okay well we've got a couple things to show and i've got a bunch of things to show you outside so first of all let's hop all the way down to the outside where we have a bunch of towers for the um what do you call them the plant species uh x plants um so i decided to go ahead and just make a bunch of little towers here so in each of these i think what is it again it's um 61 crop plots and they're all tech crop plots as well and they're all greenhouse affected and everything because this is like s plus glass and it's essentially the same but it's like a metal tier blah 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 anyway uh so all of these plants are producing for us and we've got five of these towers we just don't have one on the front here they're all kind of like anchored off of like the glass layer on the bottom layer here um so we we didn't put them between the turret layer as well because that would probably be way too ridiculous so five of those towers what is it uh what would that be 305 crop plots producing all at once so we're just having a massive flow of these plant se plant species y seeds or traps i guess is what they actually technically are we're having a massive flow of them constantly being collected in a thingy that i'll show you in just a second so that is essentially what we're feeding these dudes we could feed them lots of different things usually in the past i've fed them like stone and stuff just because it's really handy to just get in bulk but um we could go we could basically go ahead and just like, 
I guess essentially grow what we want to feed them because it makes a little bit more sense so I don't even know how long it's been since I last uh, transferred all these but it's just automatically picking it up maybe we can catch a transfer uh, in just one second here but it's automatically picking it all up uh, just constantly every few seconds or whatever I think it's like 30 seconds or something and then it will pick up again can we please get one on cam here maybe not anyway it's probably not every 30 seconds i can't even remember anyway so that is collecting up all of those items for us over here we have the pellet collector so we have all those snow owls up there they're all puking out their guts and uh, that's getting picked up by this and this is automatically transferring the pellets to the gotcha so i have this set up so we will essentially always try to fill them up to 10 uh snow owl pellets all at once and i don't know what what they're usually always on right now they're probably not exactly on 10 no i'm looking at the gavager not the actual gotcha oh you have levels as well huh let's go ahead and do that boom so um this one actually doesn't have any snow owl pellets so i guess we're we should probably decrease the amount that it's trying to give them all at once i don't know if any of them actually have any to be honest hmm okay we might have to uh check up on that but anyway yeah so essentially that is keeping them all topped up when we actually do have some is this even collecting like what the hell is happening here it's not all pellets it's collecting it should be distributing them though let's change that back to five just in case but there, uh, there's a bunch of them here come on buddy pick them up what are you doing turn off turn back on it should be doing it i mean it was doing it earlier i don't know what's changed anyway so yeah we're picking up the food and we're picking up the the snow owl pellets the only issue is is that there's a snow owl pellet directly in the center there uh we don't have an automatic way of transferring the the traps into the gotchas there's no way for me to do that unfortunately so i have this little button down here this is a transfer control unit this is all s plus by the way and i have to hit this a few times just because it doesn't register all of them at once but i hit that a couple times and then eventually all of those pop out of here we've already got more already uh they all pop out of there and then go straight into the gotchas inventories or i guess the gavagers which then feeds them uh and then over here we have the crystal collector this is another these are called the aggregator right yeah so i just have several of them just in case the system get gets like backed up or whatever because then we'll have an issue where it's not picking up the crystals or it's not picking up the snow owl pellets or whatever so um that is sending the crystals into the crystal crackers again another s plus thing so when a resource crystal lands in here it will crack it open and it will automatically transfer them uh right up here to the dedicated storage which is cool um and then when it's you know a, an item crystal it essentially just you know keeps it in here so this is a this is like a little bit of upkeep that we're gonna have to do occasionally i'm gonna have to come in here and take all of this stuff which looks lovely by the way and grind it all up for more resources honestly there's no point of keeping any of this i have blueprints that equal better than you know every single thing that you see in here uh at least the stuff that i need anyway so um yeah all this stuff is very very useless to me so let's go ahead and change this to the basic transfer i'm gonna just take absolutely everything and boom and everything again from that one and boom and in here let's just go ahead and grind all boom okay so look at all that that metal right there in case anybody's ever wondering like this is the best way to get metal if you can make yourself a massive gotcha farm uh it doesn't grind up any canteens which is super annoying i kind of wish there was a way to enable that but i don't know if that's a thing so all of this stuff unfortunately is uh you know not all of this stuff goes into the um what do you call it the system right here like it doesn't automatically go in but i can essentially take as much of it and uh and then basically just deposit through this intake right here so you know obviously i can't grab all of this like it will allow me to grab a couple stacks just not all of it and then i can basically come to this intake and pop that all in honestly the intake is one thing that when they put the uh the dedicated storage into vanilla because this was taken originally from s plus in case you didn't know but when they took this from s plus i was so disappointed that they didn't also put the intake in because like this is such a useful thing because you can run up to this after doing like a little meat run or whatever and just like basically hit that and then it's going to transfer all those resources into um into your dedicated storage so it's kind of disappointing how they didn't do that uh so for the moment i have a box here for all the things that don't get stored because i don't to be honest maybe i should actually get you know dedicated storage for every single item that we'll usually be getting at least to an extent you know we don't need one for angler gel but like metal ingots probably yeah i should probably do that i guess we can fit more up there for sure but um yeah so for some of the items that weren't getting like properly picked up 
uh, by the system. I just, I've been putting them in here. So for the moment, I've, I've went ahead and just put a little container down here just because I can't fly up there easily with all these resources. So yeah, it's it's a major pain. Anyway, so yeah, that is, uh, that's the whole farm, guys. That is a incredibly big project. And I'm so glad that I finally managed to actually get it done and get it looking really good. Like, honestly, let's take a little step back here. It looks pretty impressive. I like it. I mean, it kind of looks a little bit weird with the little UFOs all floating around this tower. That's essentially what I see when I look at this. But at the same time, I don't know. It's got like a weird, unique look to it. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy that it's, uh, it's all very functional and all very useful. And all I got to do is pretty much just sit on that lair right there and occasionally hit a button. And then that's it. Like, that's really all I have to do. Oh, I did a little bit more detail up here. I never showed this off. But, uh, yeah, so we've got, like, I don't know, just, like, a little bit of detail up here just to kind of make it look a little bit cooler. Um, so, yeah, five towers on the outside. We've got a gotcha for every resource, two for the element dust, and turrets to protect the area, and just absolutely everything. What more could you want? So this is really, really, really cool. Um, I'm so happy that it's done. Like this was on my list at the very start. Like when I when I was like starting up the series, I actually made myself a full on list of like massive project ideas. And this was one of them. And I'm, I'm really happy to actually finally have it done. And you know, like this is a lot bigger and a lot better than I thought I could actually manage. So I'm really happy about that. And obviously it's producing crap tons of resources anyway. So that's awesome. But um, yeah. <laughs> We just we're absolutely stacked with all these materials look we've even got even more stuff in here and it's only been like probably like two minutes or something uh so that's awesome honestly like the gotcha farms man they're insane get yourself one if you haven't already like made a gigantic farm of these dudes you should definitely do it at some point it's it's that end game thing that you would want to have done so you don't have to constantly go out and hit rocks or metal and stuff because there's no more of that in this series we're all automated baby look at this it looks so ridiculous so uh let's talk a little bit about the name of this of this thing right here because it needs a name you know i made egg fall which is my uh element uh dust mainly farm it's like a tech creature farm that essentially like just breeds up eggs and then drops them down to a therizino and it like harvests them up it's not super efficient not like this but it's still pretty good so this one needed a name too and i have decided to call it the crystal tree um i don't know i kind of thought it looked a little bit like a tree with all these like little branches on the outside so yeah uh it looks less like a tree with all these mini things around it but you know what i i still think it's a good name so yeah let me know what you guys think about that one <laughs> it's so weird looking here's one shot that i want to show you let's just like hover right above it here like look at that that looks absolutely ridiculous looking it looks like a flower that's really what it looks like from here with all like the little gotcha petals on the outside <laughs> oh man i love it i really do this is so cool i'm so glad that it's done man like because that the factory that i had it was going to be called the gotcha factory that that was not good that looked awful I, I don't even know what direction i was going with that thing i was so annoyed with the way that it was turning out and that's why i just hadn't touched it in probably like close to a year now so yeah this is awesome though oh hey you just caught me in the middle of my daily worshiping of sky mammoth i love him so much he's so majestic why does he float like that he's just so good anyway uh so we have other things to go over in this video it's not just you know building well i guess rebuilding a gotcha farm and to be honest we should probably do some rebuilding here at some point this looks like crap as well i don't know what i was thinking i really got to come up with something better here i mean we don't technically need like a gigantic gate i could just make a really cool looking wall yeah we'll do that at some point not today i've done enough building for this video anyway so i i have been working on some other stuff in the background yes i'm always working on something that's it even though there's not videos all the time there's always stuff happening and uh you know we have the 100 days coming out in a few days from now so yeah we'll have that to look forward to i guess anyway so other stuff i've been doing on here is breeding gigas and now i have maxed out their melee because so many people in my comment section on the video where we got the gigas and mutated the crap out of them kept saying oh my gig is stronger well, screw you. My gig is now max melee. Yeah, that's that's what you get. Uh, <laughs> it just needed to happen, okay? So here's what we had before. I think, what did I have stacked into here? I think it was like 35 melee mutations. Now it's like 101, I think. And that brings it up to max. I can't go any further. Well, technically I could, but if I go any higher than uh, 254, then we can't pump any levels into it. And that's just pointless. I didn't really do anything with the health, so it's... A, 
it's pretty much the exact same uh what where is it here it is yeah i didn't i didn't get any extra uh, mutation stacked up onto the health it, it's not really super worth it it would be worth it if i maxed it out but like maxing out one stat is enough work i i don't think i want to also max out the uh the health on these dudes so let's take it out for spin i haven't actually tried this i don't even know how much damage this thing does it better be good oh that's okay <laughs> no that's really good holy crap that is uh you know unboosted by um mate boost and unleveled as well and this thing is super leveled up i just haven't pumped any of them in so let's go ahead and max that out by the way um i got a couple comments about this there is literally no point of pumping any points into health ever it will literally give it nothing and for this example i will pump one point in just to show you so we have seven seven six you really think that's worth it? <laughs> 13 health? 7, 7, yeah, 13 health. That's, it's not worth it at all. Like, that is beyond the realm of ever being close to being worth it. And it is, it's just not. So, yeah. How much do we do now? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god dude 13k that's insane and these things aren't aren't made boosted as well so they could be even stronger the king titan is clenching his booty pipe right now i can feel it even though we're not on this map that map i can feel it from all the way over here on val um <laughs> holy crap this is insane we're just like one-shotting everything oh dude i love this i really do um you know what? The only thing I can really think of doing with this thing is maybe going and fighting a Titanosaur. You know, it could potentially work. I do also have a mate for it, to be honest. Uh, let's let's go ahead and just chuck this one out as well. Let's see them together. I want to see what the mate boosted damage is. It's probably going to be like 17, 18k. 17, okay. Pretty good. Pretty amazing. And they can even be leveled even further. Like an extra, I think, what... How many levels was it again? I think it was 62 is what I pumped into this one. Um, and then we pumped one into health just for the example. Um, so we have an extra 20 levels that can go into these dudes. And uh, that's definitely going to add up to close-ish to maybe like 19k, I would say. Ish. When, you know, when they're when they're mate boost and everything. So there's that. Uh, also, Uteranus buff as well, if I want to do that. I don't really think I'll bother doing that for the uh, for the King Titan fight that I'm probably going to do somewhat soon. It's really not that worth it. Uh, but I, what I do need to actually do is go ahead and name this dude. So, you know, I did ask in the previous video where we got the Gigas, like, should I, should I come up with a new name? But a lot of people just said, just call it Doomsday because that's a great name. It really is. And especially for a maxed out Giga, like this this thing's insane. This thing is ridiculously good. Like what the actual crap, 13,000 damage. That's insane. Okay, yeah, we uh, we gotta head to a different map. Gigas don't spawn on this map, unfortunately. Or not Gigas, oh my God, I'm so stupid. I'm just, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, Titans don't spawn on this map. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away because we got quite a lot of stuff here. So yeah, then we'll head on over. Oh, you know what? I haven't showed this off yet, but uh, they fixed the Dermises. They now actually work, which is great, because for a while there, uh, you weren't able to use them for some reason for the bosses and stuff. It was really weird. They all just got, like, reset, except for the Broodmother one, because this is technically not from the boss version. This is from, like, the creature version that you can find over in the Redwoods on this map. But, um, yeah, I'm glad that they actually fixed this. It's a pity that they borked out all of my freaking boss Dermises and stuff. It's super annoying so yeah at least they're fixed it's funny when i spawn into this map and you know like go to spawn on my titan it spawns me below the ground and then takes a second to realize that i shouldn't be down here like i, I can't even move right now <laughs> i just gotta wait oh there we go now i am up here kind of still in the ground but we're good we are good sweet all right there's got to be some titanosaurs around here somewhere just in case you missed it by the way we did do some renovations in here i showed this off in detail in the uh, last cluster episode the one with the trudon so if you want to check that out check out the playlist but i have some titanosaurs to find and slay all right well i think first of all we got to take out this this giga it's only a low level so we'll have it killed in like a second here and close close and dead nope dead yes sweet <laughs> oh that is so awesome all right well there we go i'm gonna keep this and i'm gonna keep these and this just one <laughs> there's another giga hello you know what i guess we could go on like a little giga killing tour uh where's my other one there it is this is doomsday 
Oh, hello. <laughs> You're very close to me. Kill. Kill it for me. Oh, so, okay. So they do 10,000 damage without me being mounted or anything. That's a death worm. Hello. So yeah, uh, that that's pretty good. I mean, like 10k, uh, and then we're gonna have to add on like the extra from the um, from the mate boost as well. These things are gonna be pretty beastly, actually. You know what? I kind of want to see how much do they do. Just you know, AI versions, because obviously the 17k that we saw was like me being mounted, uh, which is you know the imprint buff and everything adds on a good amount. You need to be close to that one. So maybe both of you fight at the same time. Fight something. I don't know what. Maybe these dudes. Go for it. And they do 13,000. Okay. Wait, that's almost like the exact same amount that gets added on when I'm mounted. <laughs> I think it actually might be. It probably is. Uh, why can't I see the names? There we go. Wait, I have I turned off end? Okay, now I can see your name. That's weird. I was trying to figure out if I had that on or off. It was really weird. Uh, you have this for me and this. And that's it. Uh, I guess we'll take this. Hey, we found a titanosaur. Sweet. Uh, let's drop out my two dudes. Uh, I'm kind of wondering whether or not I should be mounted. Oh, okay. Seriously? Uh, you see, if I'm mounted, then like if it goes into rage mode, we are kind of screwed. So I might actually benefit from not being mounted. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to get it raged out on me and then have to like deal with broken armor and everything i guess i could just go naked <laughs> uh yeah oh my god seriously leave me alone like what is wrong with you guys you're so rude i'm trying to make a video all these fans man they just won't leave me alone like i'll sign something after just go go get out of here <laughs> i hate these things there we go we're good oh my god get out my face okay are we good now we gonna get attacked by anything else? You're definitely gonna attack me and break my armor. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh, I hit the Titan somehow? What? This actually might be the same Titan that just murderized my whole uh, army of I can't stop running. Why? Seriously? Ark. <laughs> I had a weapon in my head somehow and I was running. That's very confusing. But yeah, that might be the same Titan that killed all my Trudons. <laughs> I don't even know. It could be. Anyway, uh, I don't I don't feel like I should really be mounted, so let's not be mounted. Um, it would not be a good idea. I mean, they're going to do a crazy amount of damage anyway, and to be honest, they could actually end up dying. Oh, I just realized. Just realized. I didn't even level you. Let's do it. You're going to be slightly stronger than Doomsday. Should have wasted that level on this one. Okay, sweet. Uh, boom. Go for it. Here we go. It could easily make them rage. Although it's... How much damage is that doing? I'm trying to see. I guess they do have really good saddles. What was I thinking? Oh my god, it's almost dead. Wow. Okay. That was quick. That was really quick. How much damage did you guys take? Uh... Eh, like 5k. Oh wait, no. That's that's Doomsday. I thought I went for the other one. Okay. Yeah, not even a thousand. That, that makes sense. Why wasn't I thinking about the saddles? I'm really stupid. Anyway, uh, that is honestly so crazy. Uh, the King Titan literally is shaking in his arena right now. If he would actually spawn, he's too much of a coward to just come out by himself. We have to actually pay for him to come out to us so we can murderize him. So we'll probably do that at some point soon. I do want to also ramp up some other stuff for that battle, but uh, that is obviously going to be in the works very, very soon. Maybe we'll tame all the Titans. We'll see. <laughs> it could be a thing. Who, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, that's it for this video. It's probably a little bit shorter than some of the other ones, but that's okay. Uh, we got everything that I wanted to get done, done, and uh, I'm super glad that that project is finally done and dusted. And I can look at it and actually be proud of how it looks. So yeah, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Also, 100 days on Friday, probably. We'll see.